Hello everybody, Minister Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Japan. In the last episode, we designed a couple more ships. A new cruiser, a couple of new frigates. So we're getting those guys built. Uh, we are also working on more naval dockyards. That should hopefully help me get more ships built. Because the fleet is going to be incredibly important in this series, as I mentioned before. And so, yeah, we're just continuing to work through things. We're getting through our focuses. You know, continuing to work on our... Intelligence Agency. And just kind of... Keeping an eye on the world and how things begin to progress. Um, there was an interesting war that was declared. Oh yeah, it was Israel declaring war on Jordan. Jordan was puppeted relatively quickly. Um, yeah, that was a bit odd. Well, yeah, we'll just go ahead and keep on rolling and see how things go. Yep, and we are getting our new new units trained up. I will need to keep doing that. Agent forced into hiding. Okay, so you are forced into hiding. But we were successful. Excellent. Advanced surface nuclear reactors is done. Now that does not have an ahead of time penalty. Very interesting. We're almost at 2005, so that's going to open up new Corvettes, new destroyers. Destroyers? Hmm. Interesting. And a lot of other things here. Vertical launch. Light guns. Rail guns. Heavy guns. You know what? We're going to work on 2005 heavy guns. Because they're going to go into my new battleship that we're going to be designing. We're a little bit ahead of time on that, but that's fine. We keep getting that happening. It's probably because they don't really have anything else to do to spend their, uh... Yeah, it keeps hitting our political power, but you know what? These little minus ten political powers... I don't really care. Now, we do have a just giant treasury. Um, so... Maybe I will spend some of it.
Uh, what else am I a little bit short on? Self-propelled AAs. Any personnel or armored APCs? Some MBTs. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Buy some German. Yeah, sure. Uh, MBTs. Let's bring in some leopards. And... Yeah, there you go. Throw a little money around. We got it. Switzerland joins the UN. Originally, the Swiss government refused to join the United Nations after the end of the Second World War, pointing to the country's continued dedication to its own neutrality, which is especially weird considering the UN's main seat in Europe is the UNOG, United Nations office in Geneva, Switzerland. Hmm. Now, after a public referendum on the matter, the Swiss government has announced that the country would move forward to abandon its post as a spectator and would now join the organization as a full member. There you go. More infantry? Okay, now actually one other thing I need to do here is... Um, we have eight brigades, mechanized brigades, plus ten more. That brings me up to 18. So, we need to do 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Nope, I'm going to be trying to combat my foreign influence rather than increase it. That's at least what we're trying to do. Keep on working on my cybersecurity. All right. Uh, recruitment programs. Gains national spirit militarism, which grants recruitable population factor 10%. Civilian to military industrial conversion cost minus 30%. Production efficiency growth minus 10%. Eh, that's fine. Back to rank this to China has been achieved. Alright, let's exploit the back door access. Intelligence, that is fine. No ciphers being decrypted. Let's get on North Korea. Let's see. And then we're going to immediately throw it back into booming. Because I have the political power to do it. And it leaves NATO. The leader of Canada. I'm Jean Chrétien. Sorry. Uh, has today announced the country's intention to immediately pull out of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization as affiliated alliances as a week in the military pact. Interesting. Canada is... Going rogue? Maybe? Uh... 
Let's see. Current cost is 1.047 billion. And this would be 1.7, so it's going to be a 0.7. Oh, yeah, we can afford it. Do it. Sure. We will throw some cash around because we can. Alright, are we getting anything new? Anytime soon? Not really. Alright, we just finished our cruiser. Helicopter operators. Let's build another set. in there. Political renewal. We're going to get a bunch of political power. One thing you need to do is start kind of putting together a standardized um, fleet layout. Forced encryption. This researched improved computing. Yeah, we really need to work on some of that. President died, it looks like. Oh, agent's been captured. Alright, we'll uh, send our other guy in to rescue her. Is that agent being like captured multiple times now? American election. George W. Bush forms new government. Hey, there you go.
All right, disrupt the Nye. Rotary, rotary, rotary wing, frontline focus. Yes, and we're also going to need this. We've got a lot of work to do in those doctrines, so we're going to keep rolling on them. your training right I do not have the required network strength to commence all right Sudan declared war on Sudan a Sudanese Civil War? Another Sudanese Civil War? Yeah. No, it's a three-way war. Okay. Alright, so there is... I have a couple of mechanized brigades in the wrong... There we go. Ideological debate. Myanmar cracks down on protests. Okay. There we go. We can now commence. <laughs> Hidden listening devices. Improvised explosives. Enemy agent capture chance. Mm. Is there anything that like reduces our agent's capture chance? Agent detection chance offsets. Yeah, well, might as well. How are we doing as far as dockyards? Still working. All right, there's F-104s.
F-15Js. Rather get our heavy guns. Alright, now one thing I need to do is get over here. Um... Then took four states. Khartoum Caliphate was annexed. Sweden leaves the European Union. Interesting. All right. Now, what do I want to do next? Probably go for Bushido. Give me a bunch of Doctrine bonuses, which I will definitely, definitely use. Sudan is capitulated. The Sudanese government has gone into exile. All right, there's our Kawasaki P2Js. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to do. I have two lines of Cobras. Someone pointed this out in the comments a couple of videos back. Um, yeah. The 3J Orions. Yep. Get those. Civilian industry. No. How is trade? It's fine. Doesn't need a special forces weapons. I should like you to come over here. Let's get improved computing. Digital camouflage. All right. It is 2005, so we'll start working on new infantry equipment. Agent rescued, and then we're going to send you right back to where you got captured. Assassination of Rafiq Hariri. Today, the, when the Prime Minister of Lebanon was leaving Parliament, his motorcade car bomb exploded while... Passing the St. George Hotel. Hariri, along with 21 other people, died in the explosion, leaving 220 others wounded. Responsibility for the attack has been claimed by the Nasra and Jihad group in Greater Syria. 
A previously unknown organization, many believe that the Syrian government is behind this assassination as Hariri was an outspoken critic of their occupation. The leader of the Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, is claiming that the attack was orchestrated by Israel to force Syria to leave Lebanon. Okay. We're almost trained up here. Just need to wait for that. The Cedar Revolution. Since the, uh, since the assassination of Rafiq Hariri in Lebanon, the country has been in a constant state of demonstration. Almost daily, the Lebanese population has gathered on the streets to protest or in process of Syria's occupation. Today, the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad announced that the Syrian troops will be leaving the country. All right. Enemy agent capture chance. Gerard Schroeder forms new government in Germany. Alright, there's Bushido. Continental campaign, army experience. We're going to do both of these. Navy experience, missile destroyers, submarines, naval yards, cruisers, carriers. All right, we'll go down the ocean campaign first. Keep buying in some equipment here. Alright. You guys are trained up. So we can stop doing that. You guys are trained up. So we can stop doing that. So hopefully let me get ahead of some of the equipment issues. Christian Levrat confirms Swiss, Swiss neutrality. The Swiss Federal Council, backed by the Parliament and the Cantons, has today once again affirmed Swiss non-intervention and international conflicts. Christian Levrat has commented that membership in an international coalition will not only bring peril to the Swiss people, but also encourage the world to do the same. Okay. Let's get some more stuff built. We're going to go through that infrastructure. Actually, let's maybe kind of intersperse these dockyards with the infrastructure. Oh, hold on. What happened there? Alright, 
floating airfield, carrier organization, sortie efficiency, yep. I think after we get the F-15s, I'm gonna go ahead and start researching a, a carrier aircraft. Because we're going to need that, and relatively soon. Alright. Missile destroyers. Nuclear missile cruisers. Carriers. We'll go down the route that gives me carriers. The Democratic Republic of Congo. Two states. Movement for the liberation of Congo is annexed. Uganda was puppeted. Keep on working on it. Death of King Fahd. And the King of Saudi Arabia died, apparently. Uh, marine industry, industrial conglomerates. Yeah, probably want that. Small and medium business owners. Labor unions. I'm not sure what any of these do. And some of them say what they do, but some of them just say nothing. Huh. We are short some tech materials. Interesting. We'll bring in a little bit more from Australia. Yep, every time the economics drop, we're just going to bump it right back up. Alright, well, I think we're at the end of the episode. We'll go ahead and stop here. We're 300 days away from getting a... Oh, then we have another carrier hull to research. Though... 829 days. We might start designing a 1995 carrier and start building those just to get one. Or two. Before we get the... The next carrier. Alright, well, as I said, we'll go ahead and stop here, and we'll just keep on working for next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.